we will solve irudo problem 1.7 in this we are given that there is a stream flowing with a velocity v0 these are two ends shores there are two swimmers a and b both move with a velocity can swim with a velocity v v swimmer with respect to or we can write v men with respect to stream is v and v stream with respect to ground is v0 it is always advisable to write like this now one of the men swims in such a way that he lands at the opposite end in what direction he should swim he should swim like this so that the effect of v0 will drift him towards that so if this is the vector showing v men with respect to stream and this is v stream with respect to ground you get v men with respect to ground is this for calculating time you divide the distance with this with the speed or the velocity but please be sure that the velocity is in the same direction as the distance if you have velocity in the same direction as the distance it's fine otherwise you need the component in this direction so this is the if this is the speed velocity of the swimmer with respect to stream then his velocity component in this direction is this from this triangle we can find out what is this velocity we have got the velocity in this direction so what is its magnitude v m g magnitude is equal to this square minus because this is a right angle triangle so it is v square minus v0 square under root so time taken would be equal to the distance divided by the velocity component in the same direction that is magnitude of the velocity in the same direction which is this which is this so divide by v square minus v0 square so this is the time taken by this swimmer now let us look at the second swimmer the second swimmer swims in such a way that he is swimming perpendicular to the stream please note he is swimming perpendicular to the stream and stream is moving like this so what is if i break his motion in parts so i am showing these very small he is basically even if he is swimming in perpendicular direction to the stream that is his velocity that is v0 and the resultant velocity would be like this he will be moving like this so we draw a triangle this is 90 degree we know that this is the men's velocity with respect to stream this is the v0 and this is the resultant velocity which is equal to v men with respect to ground we want to know this angle theta dash if this was theta that is why i am taking theta dash we want to know this angle theta dash so that because we know that if he swims like this this distance is w if you know tan theta you can find where he is landing p so tan theta dash is equal to p upon w it will also be equal to this 
tan theta dash from the velocity vector is V0 upon V. So P comes as W V0 upon V. So we have obtained this distance which he will walk with the velocity u. So he is taking time in two parts. One is while crossing and one is while moving along the shore. So when he is crossing, his velocity component in this direction, in this direction is same as v. Even if his absolute velocity is like this, but if you take component perpendicular to the stream, it is this only. And to calculate the time, you have to divide distance by the velocity in the same direction to the distance. If this is the distance direction, velocity. So time 1 means T1 would be equal to W upon V. He will take time T2 in moving like this and that would be equal to P upon U which is equal to W V0 upon V. So the total time taken by him will be same T as taken by the other swimmer because they have to reach at the same time. So this total time is W upon V 1 plus this is U also 1 plus V0 upon U would be equal to W upon take V as common under root 1 minus V0 square upon V square. Cancel this. Cancel this. So you get 1 plus V0 upon U is equal to 1 minus V0 square upon V square raised to the power minus 1 upon 2. So V0 upon U is equal to 1 minus V0 square upon V square raised to the power minus 1 upon 2 minus 1. This is the value of V0 upon U. So U is equal to V0 upon 1 minus V0 square upon V square raised to power minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 is the answer.